But as summer wore on, a terrible plague struck the village. People died by the dozen. How is she? Is there any hope? The worst may be over. We'll know more once her fever breaks. You should know the villagers are starting to believe you and your daughter have brought this pestilence here. What? No! I should have realized it would be a mistake to harbor strangers here. The villagers worship a divine idol at this shrine. They believe the idol has marked the one who brings their misfortune. If they discover your daughter's birthmark, they will demand that she be sacrificed to appease the idol. You mean she would be slaughtered like an animal on the altar? I'm sorry. That is the way we are accustomed to averting disasters here. How can they be heartless enough to destroy a child? She's my life, she's my only treasure, she's all that I have left! You must give her up. Otherwise there will be not one, but two sacrifices. I beg you. And I... I'll do it myself. instead of her. Please keep her safe. I entrust you with her life when I'm gone. Don't be a fool! No! Hey, Mom. Mommy, where are you? I'm right here, sweetie. <gasps> oh, there you are. Is there anything you'd like to eat? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Is there anything you want? No. You know, Mom, I think I... I have to go home. Hidgeri's going to be worried about me. And Potato, too. And I've got a new friend that I'd like to see again. I see. He's looking for somebody he calls the girl in the sky. For a while, I kind of wished I was the one, but I don't think I am. If things are too hard for you, you can come with me. Listen, Mom. I wanted to thank you. I don't remember very much about you since I was so young when you died. But when I think about it, it seems to me that you gave up your life so you could bring me into the world. So... I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. That's all I really needed to tell you. Uh. Kano, you don't have to bear the plume anymore. You can now live happily ever after. To how dear you The trees on the hills Like the number of tall grasses Growing in the fields Brush clover and bellflowers And broom sedge body More than all the autumn flowers Is your worth to Saw it too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Kana. Oh, hey, Yukido. And you too, Hijiri. What was the 
the deal with that feather anyway? Do you have any idea? I don't. Hey, Jerry, I got to see Mom when I was in the sky. Yes, I saw you. I told her I couldn't go with her, and that was hard. But I got the chance to thank her for everything, for doing all she did for me. Just like Yukito said I should. No, it's all you. Looks like you got your magic powers after all. It wants to be in the sky, so let it go. Yeah.